be disappointed with the way this was, with the way that I handled uh, this action, with the way that I handled the my trading. Looking back at it, I just have several just very sloppy trades that I should not have been involved with. And it brings me to maybe a topic that's kind of open-ended, but just to give you guys some thoughts for your thoughts. Um, something very powerful to understand is when you are in a in an in, when you're in a situation where you are like feeling what's going on and when you're just not. And there's times that we all have where we just can't get into what's happening. This might be something that the the market is doing like environmentally, it might just be so directional or it might be so choppy or it might be so slow or it might be so fast. Um, you know, all of us would do better or worse in these situations, but maybe for you in these situations it's just you can't line up with it right. And then a lot of times it's just like a personal thing. Personally, maybe you're tired, maybe you're distracted, maybe you've eaten a bunch of crazy stuff and, and body's all out of sorts and you can't stay dialed in. Sometimes from time to time for who knows why, we just feel unmotivated or just feel like a little disconnected. These things happen. That's kind of where I feel like I was at today. I feel like the market provided a lot of opportunities and just personally, I just couldn't get it. Like I couldn't get on board with it. Um, and these things happen and, and being able to understand and have the awareness to know that either environmentally this is bad or just something's going on with me and it's just like, this is not going to be the day where I do well. Knowing that is very, very powerful because if you behave yourself at least somewhat wisely, you can still bang out some profits and still make something of the day and you can stop yourself from doing any type of real damage. But these are also the sessions where it's so easy to get frustrated and just start over trading or to start taking some weird losses and then want to size up trying to get those things back. And even as I was being involved in even some of the sloppy trades that I had, I kept the size extremely small and I knew this was like a thought going in the back of my mind. Like I just knew this was not my day. This was not the day that I was going to crush. This was not the day for me to put up a huge P&L. And I positioned myself accordingly with that. You know, we looked at several trades kind of in the same area, but there was huge chunks of time where there was no trades for me. I was being very just uh, you know, off the screens. Um, and this is, this is something that I have talked with a lot of traders about. I've had to sort through a lot, but not being able to make that distinction and treating every day the same or when you have a day that's not your day, and you want to be aggressive and you want to size up and you want to try to make some, force something to happen, those will be the days you just get punished unbelievably. And those will be the days you just look back on and you don't know what happened, but you just did a ton of damage to your account. And it's, it's absolutely not worth letting it happen. But it, it really starts with awareness of just knowing this. And some of this I think is hard to describe, but it almost comes down to maybe something like trading IQ, where you just go through it enough, you start to understand and if nothing else, the market can be doing something that just gives you an uneasy feeling and you just don't feel confident, you don't feel good. If you don't feel good about what's happening, these are good times to just stop <laughs> and to not do anything or at least scale things back or at least plan on being very cautious uh, in the way you approach things. Because there's a, sometimes I'll feel bad, but when I approach a trade, I'll, I'll put a strong emphasis on securing uh, um on mitigating the risk, a very, very strong emphasis on not letting it turn against me. Um, and and I'll just behave a little differently in those environments as well. So uh, I'd be interested to know how you guys feel about that, if that got through. I think it's a difficult thing maybe to describe exactly. It was very relevant for me today because it's it's very like qualita uh, yeah, qualitative at, at moments where it's just some of it is how you feel, some of it is just what's going on. But today was a day I feel like there was a lot of opportunity. I feel like I pretty early on was just not on it, not on it today at all. And a big step of growth is being able to not be on it and still be okay with that, behave appropriately, bang out some profits, you know, keep the lights on, as we say. And then um, when those times come, when you get it, you see what's happening, you're in alignment with it, you're focused, you're, you're in the game. You can push it, and that's where we, we really make our money. But getting on the right side of that dynamic is very, I think, interesting. I think it's very subtle, and I think very few people can do it. And it, it's a huge source of frustrations where 
the, the environment is good, you feel it, but you're too scared to do anything. And then you start building a little bit of confidence. You're out of sorts one day, the market gives you something weird one day, and then you start really pushing it. You do a lot of damage, and then you go right back to just being very insecure and very uh, um, uh, low confidence again. And then the market gives you some good days, but you can't take advantage of them because you're so worried. And it's kind of like a bad cycle to get stuck in, where if you can step out of it, you can kind of pass over these, these days where maybe it's you, maybe it's the market, and keep your confidence up. You can just hammer down on those days that really matter. All right.